I'm on a 2019 Windows server, and this is a domain controller. And what I'd like to do is I'd like to add a second DNS server. So we can see this server is called DC1, so we can see it's a domain controller. What I want to do now is I want to add another DNS server, so I'm going to switch over to that server. So I'm going to minimize that session and maximize my other session. Now this server is called file server one and there's nothing special about it. It's not a domain controller. There's no domain services on there. So I'm just going to go to add roles and features and add this as a second DNS server, just so I can do load balancing, that kind of thing. So I'll choose file server one from my list. And then I'm going to choose DNS server from the roles to add. Now it's going to want to add some features as well. So I'll just go ahead and choose to add the features. Click next. I don't need to add anything additional and install. Now, if I were to install this as a domain controller, it would automatically add DNS and everything that's needed. But since it's not a domain controller, this is something that has to be manually added. And the installation was complete. I don't need to restart anything for this particular role to be added. I'm going to switch back to my domain controller. And we see DC1 is still on the list. And one of the nice things I can do is I can add in other DNS servers all using the same pane. So I'll click on Connect to DNS Server. I'll choose the following computer. And I'll type in File Server 1. And that way we can see both DNS servers in one place. There we go. Click Forward Lookup Zones. And we can see since it's not a domain controller, it has not replicated any of the Forward Lookup Zones that are on DC1. It's just blank. But the nice thing is we can set up a secondary DNS zone and we can replicate from DC1 into File Server 1, which I will do in this playlist. So that is how you add a second DNS server in Windows Server 2019.